Okay, how to find an angle using corresponding angles. Okay, so basically what we need to do is we need to find out and make sure that these are in fact corresponding angles. Okay, okay so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that both sides are on the same side of the transversal. And recall the transversal is a line that passes through two parallel lines. Okay, so this is my transversal. And these two lines are parallel because they have this arrow thingy going here. And that tells me that since both arrows are the same, that they're parallel. So here's my transversal. And both angles are on the right of it. See, because here's the transversal. This one's to the right. This angle's to the right. So I know that that's OK. Then what I have to do is I have to check that both are underneath or on the same sides of their parallel lines. And in this case, they're underneath. So this is this angle here is underneath this parallel line. This angle here is underneath this parallel line. So since they're both on the right, they're both underneath, they're corresponding. So now that I know that they're corresponding, it's very easy. I know that they are congruent because corresponding angles are always congruent. And that completes our problem.